<laughs> what? I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to reference like those humanity. bad movies of money grubbers in like. Five seconds. Uh no, no, no there, there is be. the path. Yeah. Um. I, yeah. He, I mean, he, I you, think you know the courier snipe is gonna be coming from him. Yeah, I think because of that smoke break, I think it's, it's right. easy to suspect this. Oh, no, dude! Oh, he was actually dissing them! While he gets himself! Two physical hits from the Satter. Come on, Z-Freak. Like, you know you want to, even though the animation time is... Oh, they actually sniped the, they actually sniped the courier. Hey, he's got double iron shells in here. Even with the rocket barrage here from TC, he can't get it all. He's still got most okay. of it, though. The Swindles yeah, is fine TC with that, like, Swindles just made it up to another six. Bottom lane, Avalanche toss Sun Strike. The Disruptor actually finds the kill. MSS rotating down, he's looking for the Shackle, but he can't get the fish over from Hanskin. And the Hanskin, oh, he also trying to break free of the, uh, well, at least the tree line he was on. A little rotation down. With this, I don't know if it's, I mean, it's a pretty big commitment to kill a Darks here, so... Complexity would probably be fine if it's... Oh, there's the Hex. See how long Swindles can survive? Not at all. Power shot from MSS timing was perfect. So a, a good way to... ...timing, uh, Aghanim's mech timing you were looking for. It's exactly what uh, Z-Freak is going for. MSS, Blink, Avalanche, Toss, Stun Strike, ba boom, boom, boom! Work is done, and now Disruptor, you're coming back to this fight, even if you want to or not, Savage. And the ulti, well... Curse is out there, tiny, he won't survive, he was too far to seek the tower. Swindles did not have the heal available, and he turned around, and do they see him? Can they find him? He can't TP. Five seconds, he hides in the tree line, TC took damage. And now, with the Rocket Barrage, they'll find the kill. So, a super one trade-off. Two cool. I'm going completely head-on confrontation, and I think if Tyrant gets to blink, they, they very probably will. Seriously waiting for Jason to get hit by these Forge Spirits a couple of extra times to get some strike. Invoke is now though, like, he's out a little bit too far. Uh, he's got to invoke up his Ghost Walk and run out, and the reveal... ...doesn't exist. As he is actually capable with... Like, if you're off the other side of the map farming the whole time, you could have used ult before the killing and here we go. There goes your Ravage from Brax, but the drop is the only one being hit and he's already been sent back. Oh. Making him send back, it's actually be Brax, and I get to take it back, it was actually be free sending him back, and Brax surrounded in the tiny avalanche off! There he threw the lion back into the lion's den, and now Limp, well, he does get cursed to get killed. Swindles on the hunt, on the chase, because he was chasing as well, he didn't actually have the mech off of the rest of his team, but now Savage goes back into the wall once again, the sun strikes right on point, and they're surrounding him with the Chen army. There's no way for Savage to survive that. This is better coordination coming out from Complexity, even with the lot. Jason's gonna come from behind. If he can, he'll try and pop a hero with that finger of death. Z-Freak would be a nice target for him, but that point boost makes him a lot healthier. Disrupt, however, now shackled to a tree. He's a lot easier. Speak it down. The two big army for Complexity. That mech charge has now only just been triggered. And Chessie with the deafening blast pushing MSS back. This army from Z-Freak is still doing work. But finally, it's gonna be brought down. Mainly through the efforts there of TC. But Limp wants to go again. He's not going to find his target, even with the surge over on the tiny. Okay, maybe he will. Avalanche toss. Take it all back. He was actually able to reach him as she get closer. Chen army is... Well, not even really space. The hell bear's looking for him, but they just can't see him. Now the Ravage! Oh! He only got Z Freak. The Hand of God will still come up. There's a jump in through the rear. MSS can slam Jackal over on the tiny, but the drop ball is up. The mech is doesn't work. And Brax, while well, he's trying to anchor smash out the damage until Jason finally brings the magical version of it with that finger of death. Swindles charging himself far enough outside the call down, which will allow Chessie to go back to work. Swindles, like he knows, oh, he really wants through the one punch over on TC. With an extra iron shell burn, they could have done the work too. The sun strike. Oh no! Evan says we're trying to walk hand in hand with him to safety. It wins about 30% of the time. So it's a, this is a, a really key item to hear, and he's not there. He's gonna try and get some gold here with it. Okay, I guess because of the shackle, I think they do get this kill. It's a little bit of gold going your lion's way, so very important, but really the points I'm- uh, You'd need extra help there. Like, Hand of God, level 2, that could help you a little they're bit. Again. And they're going to need it. MSS, shackled, finger for disruptor. He's down, the Hand of God will not him alive. MSS trapped inside that static field, but now he can just walk out, the curse goes to work. Chessie, because he was stunned at the time, doesn't do enough damage to kill off Hanskin. And Savage, well, he will be the 
trade off, but you just traded the Tani for a Wyvern. That's good in anyone's book, especially Shazam's. You back to the promised land. Creeps. He's just having good time. Sindles. Gonna make a play. Finding Lime. Well, there's your first on Hanskin. He's got the ulti available. Doesn't want to commit too heavily, but they know they've already got the kill. Sunstrike positioning was right on the money. Disgusting. Well, this is so risky yeah. for complexity. Like, up against a Ravage. This is always dangerous. And Brax, he just goes ham. And he goes over only for Limp. The Ravage didn't connect that on, on that much, but Limp should still go down. And no! He got them back! Deep freak got the timing perfectly. So Shazam's committed in. It's a good cast for Chessy. With the help of his BKB, can now turn around and fight. No, does have enough life to push up. The urn from Hans is gonna keep him alive as he'll walk out. Just the hammer being denied at every single turn, even MSS is trapped in an electrical field. In with Limp, who's already come back to the engagement. And with the help of Chessy fighting from the hillside, they kill off another and they'll go in and finish. But honestly, like, uh, the impression I get from just the he's been spamming twins and he like as soon as he gets the agony stuff, I just feel like he wants to like sink his teeth into something and hey there criticism. Mm -hmm. But because he forgets that send back off and I, I noticed Limp by the way did something that I've only ever seen aggressive do before he got sent back to me. Oh, it's hang on, he's yeah. he's fighting. They're, they're jumping in already. Jason <laughs> nuked down. This is not a lie of life. It's tiny. Well this time around he's got the egg the egg is the immortal to keep him alive. And he's not going to be sent back straight away. He's actually want the Aegis Immortal to burn. While well, Bragg's dropping low, they're going to back up again. The glimpse, Bragg back into the fight, into an icy wall. Tavage is also very close. He's going to buy back out from, from the line. The shackle not going to work. Swindles not getting lashed as uh, it was the Invoker who was sent back to base. And they're manipulating this perfectly because he's got his BTs uh, already available. So they send him back when he gets a little bit low. Then he comes back in again with full health and a decent amount of mana, and they put him straight back on the front line. You take melee racks, and then you retreat unless there's an opening for another kill. With a double, a double back, it looked good, but maybe now they're in a position they didn't want to be in. The gem's over on the deck, lip will drop as well, and complexity on the back of what looked to be a nice little initiation from Swindle, just had no follow-up and they lose to me. Effective difference in that fight. But that the players like got their game at that level where you know they're gonna save those two seconds by buying that healing salt and just using it. I can swindles. Hey, not by swindles. Oh goodbye Shazam! <laughs> Lion! No <laughs> win ranger! Uh, royally destroyed! Numbers and sentries and he's just like pumping that out and it can make sense. Observer ward. Okay, they've got two dead. targets. Bounce them, pop them, the tiny. Wait. You got sent back. Yeah, I intercepted with the BKB. This invoker can't even be controlled. Finger of Death now doesn't do anything. And they actually jump. Swindles. Into mid. Frank can be pulled back out. If there's no ravage to this upcoming fight, they can easily win this one. The curse of the Sunstrike from Chessy. It'll finish the job. Limp is standing in the protection of a BKB and Chessy. EMP tornado. Gonna catch up the gyro. DC has to burn the BKB as well as the call out the shackle. It's nice to come over on Swindles with both hand of God and four stuff. Bringing the Swindles back out to a safe zone as they glimpse TC into, well, the danger zone. They're all surrounded by complexity. The Agatha Deathling Blast. Shazam for just being split so hard. And with the Sunstrike down, the gem has been lost. Maybe now we can actually see who owns that damn thing. Who wants to take it? Z Freak, plant down the Observer Ward and take the gem. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be Swindles. It belongs. Wait, that's Z Freak. Both gems, both gems belong to Z Freak. Alright, okay, so it's a lot that was like that. How inconsequential is that ravage? Cracked it's four yeah. men. Swindles are still sent back to base. Good game, well played. 30 to 12 will be the final score. And it looks like we've now turned the best of five into a best of three, as both teams will take out one game here at the start. Yeah, just the last thing I want to say, the initiation at the mid lane is so interesting because you see how one thing leads to another. The Tyrant that dies without using Ravage, it forces the Wyvern to use the ulti in an inefficient way and the Gyro as well. And Shazam really to win a fight needed a good value out of all of their ultis, but as soon as you catch off one of those heroes without them getting their ulti off, like, it's like a stack of cards, the whole thing just falls apart and the game unwinds and ends within a few minutes after that. Uh, let's, end, let's end up this part.